Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Uh, Camp Chefs, we're back. December episode. We we'll call this what? Deer meat in December. Yep. And we're gonna we're gonna use parts of the deer that either gets thrown into hamburger meat or thrown away. So nobody usually wants this stuff, but we're gonna try to make a main dish out of it. Well, with it, especially in the shoulder row, some of the it's so hard to get the meat off. You, you waste more than you get off trying to grind it. And by cooking it whole, you get all of it. Right. And it's real good doing like this. So I'm going to use the neck. I'm going to be in charge of the neck. And you're going to be in charge right. of the shoulders. Yeah. So we'll get into explaining it. So let's get started. All right. All right. I got my bacon grease going here, my bacon in the pan. I done seasoned my shoulder up. Now I'm gonna flip flop it in this and then put it over in the big Dutch oven and I'll put my onions and garlic and bell pepper in there with it and then I'll cook that on down. But let me go ahead and get, I don't season but what I stuff. It's the sauce. Yeah, the dirt road mm. dust. That's what we're gonna call it, dirt road dust. Yeah. I mean, it's uh. That's what it looks like. As everybody rides the dirt road around here. Yeah, right? I know what dirt road dust looks like. But it's just, uh, all that is is uh, some uh, cayenne pepper my mama growed and we ground it up. We got, got black pepper, cayenne pepper, salt. Have you got a bag and, of it, And garlic in that. Show them the dehydrated. Yeah, that's, 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 a, that's, that's where it comes from. Pepper. That's dehydrated yeah. down. And, and your mother done that. Yeah. And the only difference, we have two variations. We got a hot and a mild. And the only difference is the uh, the mild has no seeds in it. So that's where a lot of that heat that's in those seeds. That's looking good now. Mm -hmm. Smelling good too. But uh, can't be good, Joe. That's a that's a shoulder. Yeah. You don't like that. <laughs> that's what everybody says. Yeah. But you'll braise it up real good, and then we'll get that crust on it. Here, here. Yeah. And then we're gonna throw all this stuff in there. All right, I got this one seared up good. That's right. And now I'm gonna swap it over to this, the other here. Big pot. Yeah. I'm gonna get the other one. I'm gonna sear it too. Yeah, I'm gonna sear this one. Woo. It's gotta be good. It's in bacon, bacon grease. Yeah. Bacon makes everything better. <laughs> so then we'll take all this here, throw it in there too once they get them seared, and then add my garlic, bell pepper, and onion to it. Are you gonna throw the bacon in the pot? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Either that or I'm gonna make a sandwich out of it. Hmm. <laughs> You women eat, you women eat, what, ice cream when they have a breakup or when they're feeling bad? Yeah. Us men, we eat bacon. Yeah. All right, I've got them seared, and now I'm going to add my bell peppers and onions and all that good stuff, and we're going to set it on low, and let me get my beef broth, bone broth, put that in there and cover it up. But what I'll do, I'll cook it for probably, I don't know. Cook it till two, it's tender. Well, I know, two or three hours, and then I'll come back and check, and then that's when I'm gonna add my, you know, carrots, potatoes, sweet potatoes, iced potatoes, and cook that on down in it too. But if you put them in there now, they'll be cooked to mush. And 
Anyway, this is what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. May have to add some more later when I add my uh, potatoes and carrots and stuff to it. But we'll put that on simmer and let that cook. Looks good. So we're going to put it on low, low. And then yeah, put the lid on it. Well, I'm going to move my pot, and then Todd's going to get his up here and get it ready. All right. All right, so what I did was took a neck, chopped it up in about inch and a half pieces for the meat saw. Took Joe's bacon grease. There's the piece of neck. It's a ton of meat on the neck. And I'm going to stir it in the bacon grease. And sear it up and dump it in with these other two that I got seared along with uh, two quartered onions. And we're not going to season this till, till the meat falls off the bone. Alright, we got a good sear on it with the bacon grease. So we're going to put it in the pot for these others I got seared with the two quartered onions. And fill it up with beef broth. Put it back on the stove. Put it on low. And let it simmer until it falls off the bone. All right, we got deer neck and deer shoulder. We're going to let this stuff cook real low and slow and simmer for until it gets done, which is probably going to be about three four hours yeah so we'll check back in when it gets done all right we're back and let's see yep you see how it's falling off the bone which it should be it's been over four freaking hours so this takes a while to do How about yours mine is it's ready but it's gonna cook a little longer but now i'm gonna dump the carrots and all, and all I gotta do is cook them until they're done, and I'm, I'm through. You're done. Well, I gotta pull all this meat. I gotta get it out of here, pull it off the bone, chop it up. Well, here goes season. my stuff. All right. Let me stir that in. Mm. No. While you're doing that, then mine can be finished cooking. It won't be about another four or five minutes to an hour, I'll be there. All right, let's do it. All right, you see how it's, it's, it's falling off the bone. I'm gonna set it in here and separate it. Get all that connective tissue out of there. Throw the bone away and Get all the meat in the pan, and then I'm, then I'm gonna season it. That's looking good. Better than throwing it away. Yeah. Well, what I was impressed. We're gonna, we're gonna make some gravy out of all this stock too, because that stuff's four hours concentrating and cooking down. That'll yeah. be some powerful stuff. Well, what I was impressed with was how you had your neck cut up and vacuum sealed. Uh, you know, most people try to cook the whole thing. You sawed it up in big old thick steaks. Yeah, about and two then, inches a piece. Yeah. And that makes it, and it'll cook quicker that way too. Oh, yeah. Yep, Big Daddy's worried about what we got going on. He's probably hungry right now. Well, I just wanted to see if y'all got food. Uh, yeah, we, we're still working on it. We're working on it right now. All right, we'll go back to work. I didn't want nothing. I just check it on the progress. Well, I, I told Todd I knew what it was. You were hungry and wanted to run you through with it, and you can come get a bite. You can come bring me a plate. You <laughs> bring me a plate. I ain't coming over there. All right. You ain't coming across All the right. river. All right. Bye. See you. All right. <clears throat> All that bacon grease that... Me and Joe uh, seared the shoulders and the neck roast in. I cut up one onion and we're going to cook it down until it gets real soft. We're going to add some flour, 
Then we're gonna take this this juice over here just, and pour it, pour it in with the gravy. Make a good gravy. He's trying to fatten me up for what it is. Yeah. He said I'm getting too skinny. Yeah. Looking a little puny. So this bacon grease ought to help you out. Alright. Getting all them giblets off the bottom. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, we got the onion cooked down. The flour, I'm gonna take some of this stock and thicken it up. Still got some onion, a little giblets of meat. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna add some more meat later when this cooks down a little and have neck roast and gravy, onion gravy. Let's think about that. Mm -mm. You gonna make me some biscuits too? I can. It, it looks like it needs some biscuits. So. It does. Where all the flavors at and the juice. And we're gonna add some of the Deer neck, and then half of it probably, and then the other half, I think I'll make some, put some barbecue in it, make some barbecue. So we have barbecued neck and onion gravy neck. All right, so we dumped about half of the deer neck in the gravy, and we got this much left, still got heap of meat left. So I made a barbecue sauce and uh, this is a Coca-Cola based, Coca-Cola based barbecue sauce. It's what my grandmother, my mamma used to cook. So in honor of her, I'm going to use the Coca-Cola based barbecue sauce. You use whatever barbecue sauce is a thousand different kinds. So use whatever you like. And we never measure or season, uh, measure anything. So add a little in taste. You don't like it? Add a little more. That's all I can tell you. So anyway, we're gonna dump this in there and have some deer hash barbecue is what she called it. And I've ate a many a deer hash sandwich. So just keep adding. Until you like it and taste it, and there you go. All right. All right, here's the final product. We got barbecued deer meat out of the neck. We've got uh, the deer meat and gravy out of the neck with onion gravy over some mashed potatoes and Joe's uh, deer roast. Deer roast out of the shoulder. Shoulder roast. A couple things you can do besides throw it in with. Uh, Make hamburger meat out of it or just or throw it away or throw it side the road. A lot of people don't do a lot with it, but it's pretty good. It's, it's taking time a lot, to do it. And it's, it's a lot of meat on the shoulder and the neck. It is. just takes a lot of work to get it, but it's, it's pretty good. And there you go. All right. That, well, that's the final wrap. We just appreciate everybody watching, and we're going to, uh, we're shooting for maybe, uh, ducks in january and maybe some coon starting in february so y'all come back we'll we'll have some more see you in january